Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nightstorm here. Welcome back to Revive Witch. So, just a few things before I start. Um, I did see a few of the comments in my previous video, so um, I'll make like a follow-up video regarding Shiroi and uh, Goddess Dana. You know, one where um, I basically just reduce um, all, just no gear, essentially, and then we'll see how that goes. And for the tier list, you know, um, I'm still getting into how to... Um, do the tier list because it might take a while i'm not sure if i should do every single doll or just ur or just ur ssr you know uh, so do let me know if you have any suggestions but it will happen regardless if there are any suggestions or not in any case um a new update you know the shiroi banner has left a couple days ago and they did add a new dreamland summon um let's double check and see if there's a, another one um in terms of the schedule Okay, no, it's just um, angling, and then this is, um, oh, these are upcoming. So on the 18th, we'll be getting a Solania rerun, and then we'll be getting Toenail of Night rerun on the 25th, and then we can supply it, just log in. Okay, fair enough. So we're getting a Dreamland first, and this is a new character, angling, Rhyme of Water, who is a Saltstone Destroyer. So I guess this is the, is the third addition to the uh, summer event, which ended on the 11th. But in any case, as per usual, when we take a look at these characters, their um, skills and passive are maxed out at level 5 active skills and level 2 passive skills. So her first skill is called Shark Swipe. It costs 2 order to use. It's a single target attack that deals 250% of her own attack uh, damage to the front enemy and inflicts an enemy with a debuff called Gnawing, which deals physical damage equal to 50% of Ang Lee's attack per second. So considering that there's no time limit in terms of active in, in terms of this debuff, I'm assuming until it's cleansed or removed one way or another, this will be a continuous DPS. So it has it has a pretty good potential. Um, so over the course of 30 seconds, that is 1,500% um, just by the debuff alone. Her second skill is called Fish Shadow. It costs 4 Chaos to use. Uh, it's an AoE attack that hits all enemies, which deals damage equal to 600% of her own attack. And if there's a knowing effect on the enemy, the damage taken of the enemy will be increased by 50%. Now, I'm not sure if this is a debuff or a conditional damage booster. Um, I would assume it would be the latter. And so, if there's a knowing debuff, so if, if you use the S1 at any moment before using Fish Shadow, I'm assuming the damage dealt would be 900% rather than 600% of attack. Now, last but not least, her passive is called Good Omen. Um, she takes 30% less damage and reduces physical de defense of the enemies with knowing equal to 30% of Angling's attack. So, you know, this is just a, a pretty usual but nice passive, sorry, a nice passive for, um, you know, a, a, the usual destroyer, you know, frontline bruiser type passive with both a offensive and a defensive um, passive to it. So overall, first impressions, um, she seems pretty decent. Um, you might want to have good um, order or um, chaos energy regen um, because, you know, it seems that a lot of her damage is on her second skill, which costs for chaos. But you also need to activate her first skill for the uh, the debuff here. Um, I would assume that the auto would perhaps um, prioritize her second skill because it's the one that has more DPS compared to the first skill. But yeah, overall she's decent. Um, you know, not, nothing really much to say there. But design-wise, you know, pretty nice as per usual. So let's see if the unique equipment um, changes things and makes things more, you know more appealing to poor so her unique equipment is called the lucky fishing rod and what it does is within 15 seconds after releasing fish shadow which is the uh, second skill 
increases self attack by 11% and converts 11% of physical damage dealt into HP. So, wait, fish shell. Let me just double check. Um, that is the second skill. Okay, it is second skill. So, uh, let's go back. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm that so I didn't, you know, spread false info. So after you release Fish Shadow, right, for 15 seconds after releasing it, she her own attack will increase by 11% and then converts 11% of any of her physical damage dealt into HP. So essentially speaking, um, you activate this and then the knowing debuff from the first skill will be consistently be giving her HP 11% um, of that 50% damage dealt and so at max level i would assume that it would probably be around the ballpark of maybe 15 to maybe 17 percent same for this one so it's a decent one it's more so a uh, you know both a damage dealing i mean increased damage dealt as well as you know more survivability and uh, yeah um for the most part you know as per usual when it comes to this game if you want high physical damage um, unfortunately uh, the destroyer class doesn't really fit the bill because of the assassin class who are known to be having the highest attack stat as well as dealing massive physical damage and so the best area for her might be i guess semi-difficult uh content or something of the sort i don't know but probably pvp at the end of the day but in my opinion there's probably better options for that but yeah overall you know um i guess you could say she's more so a collector collector's item you know if you like the design um you're most likely not going to be able to use her that much if you have a big roster but if you're new and then you pull angling she's definitely going to help you in the early stages uh, she might even help you carry carry through the early stages because she can self-sustain and deal aoe damage but yeah, that's about it for this video. Overall, um, angling would be helpful for newer players. But in terms of the veterans or people that have been playing for a long time, she might not benefit you that much outside of being a collector's item. So if you've got any more questions in regards to angling or revive which in general, do let me know that in the comments below. It's been your boy Nitro Storm. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Peace.